Today, I will explain a strategy that will help you to boost the performance of your Performance Max campaigns. Using the labelizer, you are able to optimize your ad spend. In this video, I will explain one way to set up Labelizer Performance Max campaigns for a big account. In the description of this video is an article with our thoughts on Performance Max for Retail with suggestions for setting up different campaign types. In order to get the highest performance from your PMAX campaigns, you can set up five different campaigns with your historical data. The heroes, sidekicks, villains, zombies and a fallback campaign. I will explain step by step how to set up a Performance Max campaign for the label Heroes. Click on Create Campaign. Select Sales as the campaign objective. Select Purchases as the conversion goal and set your campaign to Performance Max. Select your Merchant Center account and the country where you sell your products. And enter the campaign name of your campaign. Click continue. Next is the budget and bidding part. You can use our daily budget advice when setting your budget, but don't forget to use your own insights to determine whether you need to allocate more or less budget to each campaign. Select conversion value. Also select the checkbox, set a target return on ad spend and enter your target amount. We recommend setting the same ROAS for all four or five campaigns that use the Product Hero Labelizer. Not doing this may result in poor performance. Click on Next. Select your target location. In this example, we are just going to target the Netherlands. Select the language you want your ads to serve in. Google suggests languages that might be useful for the location you're going to target. In this example, we have only selected Dutch, while Google also advises to use English. By clicking on More Settings, the final URL expansion tab opens. This is a very important setting if you want to have control over the landing pages you target within your Performance Max campaign. If you have this setting turned on while using the Product Hero Labelizer, a part of the budget can be allocated to pages which are not related to your heroes, sidekicks, villains or zombies. The pages that could be targeted are, for example, category pages, your home page, your blog, contact page, etc. For most advertisers, we would recommend turning this setting off. The next step is building your asset group. The only thing you should do is naming your asset group. We recommend that you don't add any assets because by doing this, your campaign will act like a smart shopping campaign. As a final check, have a look at the summary and then publish your campaign. But you're not done yet. Right now, this campaign is advertising with all products, while this campaign is meant for only the heroes products. To only select the heroes, go to the campaign you just created and click on asset groups. Click on listing group, Click on a pencil next to all products. Select the custom label on which you set the labelizer. If you forgot on which one you set it, go to the last step of the labelizer wizard and you'll find the selected custom label at the bottom of your screen. Select the heroes and click save. Now your heroes campaign is done. Don't forget to repeat this process for the sidekicks, villains and zombies. The listing group of your fallback campaign looks different and this is how it should look like. That's it for this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to get notified about the latest tips and tricks on shopping ads.